Hi, I'm John McLaughlin and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In a previous video tip I showed you how to burn a Google RSS feed using Google Feed Burner and then utilize social RSS on Facebook to automatically update your Facebook pages from your website. I then went on to show you how to put a live feed from your Facebook and onto your website. You know, things that you can put on your website, things like like buttons and recommendations and login buttons. But the thing that we were quite interested in was the like box, and that's what we're going to use on this one. And to put this like box onto your website is pretty simple. Let me just show you. So we click on the like box, and that's going to give us a different page. Then what we do is we fill in the different uh, information that we want in there, and then once we're happy with what we see on the right hand side, we just click get code and that gives us two types of code. It gives us an iframe and it gives us uh, Facebook markup language. If you're using something like WordPress to host your site then putting this code in your WordPress uh, blog is pretty simple and that's going to work. But if you're using Joomla then it's a little bit different because Joomla doesn't recognize these different types of tags. Let me just show you what I mean. So the easiest way to add a Facebook light box to your Joomla website is come over to the Joomla extensions directory and you'll find that at extensions .joomla.org. And what you want to do when you get there is come over to this search box. So, so I've put in there Facebook light box and we'll see what that comes up with. So if we look down the list that it's given us we can see that it's come up with all sorts of different uh, options here. And one thing to look at when you're going through the extensions directory is you kind of look at the votes and see how many people have voted and you can see whether those votes are good or whether those votes are bad. So the P means a plugin and an M means a module. And what I've got in the demonstration, I've, I've got a module. If you want to look at some of the votes, you can just click and then we can scroll down and then we can see all the different votes, whether they're good or whether they're bad. And you can make an opinion on whether you want it based on the feedback that people have given. The light box I've used, I've got from this site here called joomlavision.com. And once you get to the site, you can click on Downloads. Now some sites you have to sign up to download the information and some sites you don't. And this one, you do have to sign up. So if you're not already a member of the site, then just click on Sign Up Now and go through the process. Once you are signed in, if you just go to where it says Most Popular Files and JV Facebook Module. And that's going to give you some information about what the module is and what it does and some of the enhancements have made. And if we click on download, that will instruct me to log in first. So I'll just log in. So once we've logged in, we'll go back to most popular files and we'll click on JV Facebook module. That's the one we want. And once we've uh, logged in, we can click download. And that's going to download. And one good thing to remember is that once you've uh, downloaded it, just make a note of what it's called. So remember it's called JV Facebook Module. That's going to be easier to find when you go back to your back office and try and up upload it into your, uh, into your website. So once you've downloaded your module, you want to come over to your administrator page and log in and then go to Extensions and Install or Install. Click on the Browse go and find that, remember it's called JV Facebook module there it is, look, double click on that and then I'm going to upload file and install and that tells us that it's been installed successfully so now because it's a module I'm going to come over to extensions and module manager and if you've got lots and lots of extensions you, you, you can't uh, find them then go over to the filter and just put JV in it and that will pick up, or you could put Facebook in there and it will just filter out those. There it is, Facebook. So to set this module up, this is all you have to do. So find out if you want to give it a title or not. So show title yes or no. And in our example, we said no. Whether you want it enabled, obviously you're going to want it enabled. And then choose the position, and this position depends on what sort of template you've got and for us it's on the right hand side and the same for the order the order will go in relation to what your website says you want it on public and if we scroll down a little bit further then we can assign the menus to uh, every page no pages or individually selected pages and then we can do that there if we just go over to the right hand side here we've got the module parameters so before we said about the different boxes you can have you can have an activity feed you can have a light box, you can have a live stream, or you can go for recommendations. You can do that all with this module. And the one obviously that we want is the light box. Next box down, you can either put your page ID 
or the URL of your Facebook page and you can put that in there and we're going to put that in there. The width, we want ours to be 200, you may want yours to be a little bit wider and also the height the same. Put in the number of fans that you want in our case we've got 12 but we can increase or decrease that and we said yes to show stream and yes to the header just down here we've got advanced parameters so you can change the CSS if you want and also caching but we're going to leave those as as default once all that's done just come up and click save now once you've clicked save and go back to your website and you can see the module has been added to the website on the right hand side and there's the title and there's all the updates that people can scroll through and then down there you've got all your fans a bit further down here so just to recap first of all you come over to the extensions directory at Joomla and type in Facebook like or whatever you want and to get the one I've chosen you come over to Joomla Vision click on the downloads once you're at the downloads go to uh, most popular files JV module and download that in the usual way and once you've downloaded it come over to your administration page go to extensions, install, uninstall go and browse for it, once you've found it double click, click upload and go through the process that I've gone through very simple, really easy to use and it's going to get you a live feed or a live stream onto your website and encourage people to interact with your, with your content on your website I'm John McLaughlin, this has been another video tip of the week to get more video tips like this you can visit my website at www.johnmclaughlin.com